Well, speaking of animals, when you watch those dog shows and agility competitions on TV, do you ever wonder where those animals train? Well, soon they'll likely be doing it right here in Western New York. Here's two on your sides, Jackie Roberts. In what many would see as just a vacant lot, two. Shelly and Don Gordon <laughs> see an opportunity. They plan to transform these uh, no, five actual, acres of um, land in Lancaster into a facility called Premier Dog Sports and Event Center. Did you ever see yourself where you are today? Never, not ever. No, I'm the president of the Basset Hound Rescue and that's just what I was going to do forever is help save homeless Basset Hounds in New York and uh, I never thought a Basset would be good at agility and uh, my, my guy was. She's talking about her floppy-eared rescue Basset named Diesel. Here comes Diesel with Shelly Gordon from Buffalo, New York. They first got involved with agility training and competition about seven years ago. Any dog can do anything with the right amount of patience, the right amount of training, good teacher and a good owner. And that idea is the inspiration behind the dream. We decided if we were going to do it, we were going to do it big and it was going to be a, a really a, a, a world class facility. It's going to be a regional destination. And that's how it's marketed for the whole Northeast region, the Great Lakes, and Southern Ontario. It's going to be 26,000 square feet, and we're going to have a, a dock diving pool in there for the dogs that want to learn dock diving. And we're going to have a mezzanine level up on top so people can watch. We're going to have a barn hunt area, um, agility area. The Gordons say right now they're finishing up the blueprints and are hoping to break ground sometime in January with an ideal opening date of about six or seven months after that. And the economy in Western New York is doing great right now. We just want to be part of it. The goal is to have classes during the week and hopefully competitions on the weekends. On the lot, there's also plenty of space for potential expansion down the line. But a piece of their humble beginnings with Diesel will be there each step of the way. The land is being purchased in his name, so uh, he'll be remembered forever. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.